What's up guys, Flame Bikini here, and I am back! And winter break is starting, so you're gonna get a lot of videos in this time. School has been really, really busy. I'm just not having that much time to record, but whenever I get the chance, I'm gonna try to just get some content out for you guys, especially with SPL starting soon. I'm hoping to be able to record other people's games, comment and uh, like analysis and stuff like that, which I tend to find is really helpful for a lot of people, and I like doing that type of stuff, so hopefully I'm able to continue doing things like that. Anyway, so I'm going to be using a team that was given to me by CBB, featuring Choice Banded Zygarde 10%, which has base 115 speeds, and Choice Banded Thousand Arrows is pretty darn good, so it's it's pretty cool. We've got a nice Gracium Heatran, basically Gracium Solar Paint is like Power Herb 2.0, just like one almost 1 1.5 times the strong Solar Beam that doesn't get affected by weather, I think. It shouldn't be, at least. Um, got nice Rotom, Metagross, Ferrothorn, and Scarf Lele to finish off the team. So my opponent's got a Celesteela, which is going to be annoying for my Lele. He's all, he also does a Meta Gross, which is a little threatening too. He has this Zygarde, which I'm actually really worried about. I'm not really sure what CBB has for this. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what he has for freaking Zygarde. The thing's a massive threat to this team, but um, and in actually in general, like he also has his Buzz Wolf for my Zydog. Like in general, I'm not liking this matchup at all. Not at all. I'm, he doesn't have a Rocks user though. What the heck? That's interesting. I don't know why he doesn't. His only rocks user is Metagross. That's a little odd. I'm I'm gonna lead off with my Rotom just because I feel like I can volt out on a ton of stuff. He does lead with his Buzzwool. Um. See if he sub. I think I'm gonna go for the Wisp. Um, if he sub, I can volt, and if he focus punches, I can go to Lele. And he, yeah, he does sub. Okay, so we'll see what he wants to do here. If he leech lives, he leech lives. But, um, at least I know his set. He does Focus Punch, so I'm gonna be going into my Lele. Hopefully this doesn't do so much, because I am quad resist as... Holy shit! Okay, that was a... That was a crit, so at least... Okay, okay. My, my Heatran is a really, really big threat to him. I'm gonna go to that, predicting his Celesteel to come out, as it does indeed come out. Here comes the Magma Storm. If he goes to his Feeny, I'm expecting that to go down to a Gracium Solar Beam. And in general, this thing is a pretty big threat to him. It does give his Zygarde some free room, and I'm really worried about that Zygarde. So we'll see how we can manage to play around with that. But the Zygarde looks so threatening. Jesus, I don't think... Please hit, please hit. Alright, thank you. Please take this out. That would be wonderful if it does. Oh, damn, that thing's gone. Beautiful. So that's pretty nice. Um, I still think we're fucked by Zygarde, but... Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we can manage to... He knew I wouldn't go to Zygarde. So, in comes Zygarde now. Time to get fucked. <sighs> How do I <laughs> motherfucking be Zygarde? What the hell, CBB? Zygarde. I feel like. Oh. Woody Thousand. I feel like his best plays is definitely the Thousand Arrows. But. Zygarde. They don't have Zygarde 10% in here. I have like. It's like shit stats. So let's just like put some random stuff in there. And let's put a side guard. Subcoil. Mm. Oh, man, freaking Zygarde is just such a like it just sets up on Tran, Rotom, Pharaoh, and that's just so bad for me. He does sub. I really wanted to taunt there. That would let me go to my Ferrothorn and set up a Leech Seed. Ugh, but it is it is what it is. I'm just gonna thousand arrows. He's gonna be able to get off his own thousand arrows and get a huge chunk on me, as that's not ideal. But we'll be able to survive. Um. He's probably going into his buzzwell, but we'll just thousand. Oh, sweet! I'll take that damage. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I need anything I can get on this stupid damn Zygarde. Anything. So I'll go into my Lele, and I am gonna pull a double again because 
he knows his Zygarde is a threat, I know it's a threat, and he knows he has a Celesteela, which can switch in. Yeah, yeah, thank you for forgetting you had a Buzzwool, that, I really appreciate that. He does switch to a Celesteela, so I get my Heatran in, which is good. <laughs> I really need to pressure him hard with Heatran, as he does go into his Zygarde. Get some chip damage on that, which is nice. Um, how much does now we need to calc this? So Heatran, OU Offensive Stallbreaker. That is definitely not Max with F side card, because that did Oh that actually might be okay, so it is Max with F. Okay, okay. Um I'm gonna calc Ferrothorn versus uh Ferrothorn versus Sigard as that's nah, doing okay damage, yeah. So I think I can pull a switch into my Ferrothorn right here. And he does just thousand arrows. Um, I have to power whip, or... See, I don't want to make- I don't want to let him get a sub plus a, um, defense boost. I really want to just... Stealth Rock, though. Let's, let's see if I can afford to Stealth Rock as he subs or coils. If he stays in then that kind of forces me to lose Lele or something like that which is definitely not ideal but when else am I gonna let me get up my rocks oh fuck he subbed all right all right now we're not in a good situation um two leftovers recovery will give him another sub I can power whip on the coil power whip again but then he'll be at above 25. Uh, so... I have to lose Lele, there's really no other choice right now as he does just coil. Oh, I probably should have, if he's E-Speed this is bad. I completely just forgot about E-Speed. Fuck, don't be E-Speed, please. Please! I forgot Psychic Train was ending that turn, that was a mistake. Oh, come on, please, just don't be E-Speed. The fact that he's thinking about it makes me think he might not be. Oh, he is E-Speed, and it doesn't kill, okay. Oh, phew, phew, it doesn't kill, doesn't kill. So, I'm definitely gonna go into my Metagross, as there's no way um, he's, yeah. Metagross. I think I have to make this play, so I'm gonna do that. No human, thousand arrows. Oh shit. Damn. Alright, this guy's not human. But, um, I think E-Speed won't kill. Not human, oh my god. Hope this thing thanks E-Speed. <laughs> Hope it. Hope it tanks E-Speed. Um, let's calc this. Man. This is a nasty situation to be in. It really is. Oh yeah, that's doing nothing. Does see he's plus one defense to the OSS a problem? I don't have psychic train up, but um I guess Zen Headbutt's my best play as he does just actually go to a Celesteela and save that Zygarde, so that actually did a decent chunk too. Hmm. So, um, you see it is really, really obvious, but I just can't go to my Ferrothorn, so I want to make the Rotom play, and he does double into Zygarde, okay, Rotom Wash, versus Max Bedef, I think I can afford to pump, oh shit, that's super effective, damn. Wasn't expecting that. I can go to my Ferrothorn now though, because now he can't get a sub. That's the key. Ugh. That's the key. So yeah, I can go to my Ferrothorn. Yeah, this is such a tough game because of a Zygarde. Zygarde's really, really good. It really is. But um, yeah, I didn't expect that to be super effective either. I guess, I guess for th I am, I guess like Thousand Arrows, like usually it's Alright guys, sorry about that, I'm back. Um, my opponent did go into a Celesteela. I'm gonna go into my Heatran. Does he double? He just flamethrowers. Okay, great. 
against Magma Storm. And I should be good to go to get a kill right here. Also, if his Zygarde comes in, I do have Earth Power, and he's not going to be healthy enough to live that because he won't get leftovers after rocks. So, this is slowly looking a little bit better, a little bit better, but I'm still pretty worried about the situation, especially his own Metagross, since mine had to take that big fat thousand arrows to the face. That was a good play on my opponent's end. I'm actually really surprised that an unmega Metagross could take that so well, actually, considering it's a plus one stab 90 BP move. But I guess when you don't invest in attack on Zygarde, it's really just not that strong, but it's really, really bulky. And it can set up a lot of stuff. As you can see on my team, it sets up on a lot of stuff. He does go to his Zygarde. Hopefully I don't miss, I don't, that's good, because then I'd, if I missed, I'd be forced to go for another Magnus Storm to take him out. So thankfully, his Zygarde's gone. So we have that, oh, I'm faster than this. Oh, I may not be, no, Sub Punch does not run max speed. So yeah, I'm gonna take that thing out. Thankfully, I've been hitting my Magma Storms. So that's really, really great for me that I can hit. So he goes into his Metagross. Um, this is definitely a tricky situation, I guess. Um, point being that, like, I guess, uh, can, can, what has the most value on my team? Rotom, Wash, versus Metagross. Except I'm not physically defensive, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm specially defensive, so... Yeah, we don't have Psychic Terrain, but Hammer Arm's definitely still good. Yeah, that's... So... I think Rotom is the most useless mod on my team at the moment. So... He does just miss that Hammer Arm, so... I don't know. It's not really gonna make a difference, I think, but... I mean, actually, if he hit that... Uh, if, see, if he's Zen Headbutt, then that's not good for me. If he could... Uh, yeah, okay, because then I could have gone into my... Um, I could have gone into my Tapu Lele and, um, i uh, sorry, I could have gone into my Heatran and just smashed him, but, um, with a Magma Storm, provided I hit, because he had that reduced speed, but, um, so, yeah, that, 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 that Hammer Arm miss was not actually good for me, so I'm going to be forced to go into my Lele right here, because a Psychic Terrain, even if he has Bullet Punch, he's not going to be able to use it right here. I'm going to be able to get off a nice Shadow Ball or hit that Celesteela on the switch. Um, either way, I'm hoping I can make the situation work out. It's a little tricky. I'm hoping Shadow Ball 2 at KO Celesteela. really hope it does. Um, but uh, this Shadow Ball is definitely not going to Oko Metagross, but I just need that damage. I need that damage. Yeah, and yeah, this, like, his mistake of going to Buzzwool is definitely a big one because just no one runs Jolly Buzzwool, especially when you're using Sub. I could see Jolly CB, but really, Buzz Sub is just much better than CB, and you can't run Jolly on that, so... Because you need to have some bulk, and you need to have strong attacks, so... Really, really there's no room for Jolly, and... So yeah, that was a pretty bad mistake to go to Buzzwool right there. That let me just get that free kill. So I don't know why he's deliberating so much about what to do right here. As he does take that. Thankfully it does not get an attack boost, so I'm gonna go into my Ferrothorn. Um I feel like I really really want to spike right here just because it's so easy to just I'm gonna do it because I feel like he'll just go to Celesteela and then just double back he actually goes to Tapu Lele that's interesting um, see the thing is I can definitely still lose to Tapu Lele <laughs> this isn't exactly the most ideal situation um, See, if he has Focus Blast, that's that's the worry if he's Focus Blast. So let's assume the worst case scenario of Focus Blast. What do I need? Um, 
Let's let's assume worst case scar focus blast. Ferrothorn versus Tapu Lele. Unfortunately, focus blast. I feel like this won't Oko, so yeah, that won't. So I feel like my best play is to just straight power whip right there then, as he is focus blast, it does seem to be scarf damage. Unfortunately don't have gyro ball, so I'm gonna have to do that and uh, this is looking dangerous already. If you can hit all these focus blasts, then I'm in a tough situation. Um, as he does hit that one, so I'm gonna have to go into my Heatran right here. And does Earth Power take this out? It should, so I'm gonna go for the Earth Power. And then hope that... Okay, he misses. I mean, that's fine with me. But um, I did have Bullet Punch on my Medgross, so I don't know. He goes to his. Um, I can take out Celesteela, right? Or can I? How much did Zen do to Celesteela? Oh, I have Hammer. I have Hammer Arm on my Medgross, so yeah, I'll just Earth Power. He'll Hammer Arm right here, take me out, and I can go to my Metagross, and I should be able to win from there, provided. I hit my moves and stuff. Um, let's just count Mega Metagross versus Mega Meta when they both have Bullet Punch. It's 10 to 12, and he's at 13. So I, yeah, I'm gonna have to hit um, Meteor Mash or something like that versus him. But the the Hammer Arm will force the oh Train out speed. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I can. Yeah, I mean, I guess a potential play is I can go to my Metagross, and if he hammer arms, then I can go to my Heatran and win. But I'm actually going to make the play of winning with my Metagross, because my Metagross can also kill both of his mons. And, yeah, he does just hammer- oh, that doesn't even kill. <laughs> wow. That didn't even kill. So he goes into a Celesteela. What's my best play? Magma Storm Miss as he leaf seeds. Heatran. Oh, you often see Snow Breaker. Celesteel. I mean, Heavy Slam does. Oh, that's nothing. And let's calc how much um, Metagross. Hammer Arm does 40. No, oh, that's max HP. 37. So. I'll taunt. This way I also block protect as he uses Autotomize. Ah, oh, nice. So that taunt was definitely my best play then. Uh, I was not expecting Autotomize Celesteela. I don't really think that's a good... Actually, I have seen offensive Celesteela used effectively. I don't think it makes sense with leftovers though. I feel like you really need something that'll help it boost its firepower. But um, yeah, we're somehow able to survive Zygarde right there. My own Zygarde wasn't really able to do much, but Heatran definitely put in a lot of work that game. So we're going to move on to the next one. I'll pause it and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. My opponent's rocking a nice and powerful all-dragon team. Really, really strong. Um, uh, I definitely really can get a kill with Zygarde pretty easily, I feel. Um, let's see. True Outrage versus Garchomp. I just want to see how I do if I can take out Tank Chomp. Oh god. Why is Tank Chomp so freaking bulky? That's insane. Why is Misty Train not correctly implemented? Man, this calc needs to improve, but how can a 252 at oh my god. Garchomp is a freaking tank. So I don't I'm not gonna lead off with my Zygarde in that case, but Tapu Lele plus Psydog is going to be pretty strong this matchup, I feel. Um, I definitely want to get my hazards up. And I'll just lead with Ferrothorn. As he leads off with his Latios, I'm definitely not... It could stay in, actually. I mean, I'll take an HP fire to the face, but... <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to go to... What do I want to go to? I'm tempted to go to Zygarde and just outrage, <laughs> honestly. But um, Zygarde has use for extremes being something to pick it off, and then later on outraging to get that kill. So 
Rotom? Rotom or Heatran? Huh. I'm gonna go Rotom. As he tricks, okay. Oh, I should have gone Heatran. I forgot. I forgot Trick was a possibility. Okay, I'm a Scarf Rotom. Alright, I'm a Scarf Rotom. I want to double back to my Ferrothorn as he goes to his ch motherfucker. What are you smoking? What the fuck are you smoking, son? I, I don't understand people. What the hell? I think. Okay, he doesn't mega, but um. I don't get it. Like, some people, man. I need this leech seed. Um, I'm just gonna. Okay, okay. What? Get fucking played. That <laughs> like, what else do I say? Get fucking played. You fire blast I me. Mean, that's not gonna do too much. And yeah, the rocks are really obvious right here. I should probably switch to my Rotom, but I just don't give a fuck. I don't understand what the hell he's going doing, but um, actually, Rotom is way better than staying in and letting this thing die to Fire Blast. So, he EQs, yeah. This guy is, okay, this guy's actually bad. What's his rank? Dragon, Dia. Uh, oh, that's, yeah, that's shit. Okay, so, clearly, as we can see, I'm playing off against a really, really dangerous opponent. Nice, nice, nice. It seems as if his Charizard lacks EQ because of his switch to play to go to Garchomp, but um, oh damn, that just straight takes it out. So yeah, this is looking really, really solid for me now. Um, as he forfeits, okay, yeah, good, get, get out of there. I didn't, oh man, I don't understand who goes to Charizard in an unmegged form versus a Rotom. It just doesn't make sense. Just don't do it. I'm not gonna lock myself into Will-O-Wisp. Like, oh my god, some people, like, this drives me nuts. But, um, my play, my, this seems actually a little bit weak to Zard. In the way I was planning on playing around it was just lead seeding it with Pharaoh, then forcing it to take 50 million from a Flare Blitz. Or Dragon Dance, like, and I'm forcing it to take 50 million for the Flare Blitz, and also be in range, and, and also not get a second Dragon Dance. Actually, no, Jolly Charizard outspeeds Top Lele. But I, uh, I still was expecting to be able to play around him with Leech Seed, and seeing if he had Roost or EQ. If he was Roost, then he lacked EQ, my Heatran could beat it. If he didn't have Roost, then he would eventually die to Seed, provided he didn't Oko every single Mon on my team. So. Yeah, that was what the play was right there, but, um, so, yeah, I'm definitely leading off with my Metagross versus this Ace Elf. Just gonna go for the 1-2 combo. If I hit this mash, then I can beep. Oh, sweet. That's, that's, that's solid. That's, that's solid. He does go to his Doug Trio. Chance there's this thing. Okay, it's a Sash. He just EQs. I'll just, oh, he's, oh my god, Metagross, the god. Meta gross the god. I'm gonna hammer arm right here because Magnuson is really really obvious. Smack that thing. Oh my god, the destruction is unreal. The destruction is unreal. I'm gonna go into my Ferrothorn. As yeah, he does not go. So there's there's my rocks. That's what I was trying to get right there. Oh, oh he encore. Right, right, right. Now I'm remembering this. Um I can go to my Heatran. As he does go to his Gyarados, okay, um... This is Mega. Um... I'll see what this does. As he subs, okay. He's a sub Gyara. Sub Mega? Yeah, I guess he's sub Mega. Uh, sub doesn't run EQ, so I'm gonna run, go into my Rotom, as he just subs again, and he DDs. Okay, so, I do, what, my plan is to stall out the Aurora Veil, and then, um,
Yeah, my plan is to stall out the Aurora Veil, but... Because I want to... I want to... I want to get my Tapu Lele in on the action. So we're going to go into Zydog. Convince him to attack. And hopefully he just Wegas and Waterfalls right here. Oh, I completely forgot that, um... Freaking, I can't Psychic, but that's fine. It should be fine. I'll can just Moonblast. And Aurora Veil will go out that turn. Uh, but I, I can't Oko the Ninetales right now, so that was that was a misplay. I should have gone into straight Lele. Actually, I don't know, man. It's it's the Porygon. I'm just trying to play around the Porygon. That's the only point of this, but... um. Alright, I, I got it. I can just go into my Rotom and... Volt. Yeah, this this is fine. Yep, that's no problem. I'll just psychic train to oh fuck. Um Let's Psychic. I see freeze tries and the next turn psychic terrain will wear out, so I do not want that. So I'll go to my Rotom. And Volt, as he takes me out, back into Lele, Psychic Terrain is up, I can Psychic and take him out, he will have Aurora Veil, but I'll be able to outrun him before and after the conversion, and oh, nice, just take him out, how did that happen? Oh, I got a Spideff drop, okay, okay, he was Ghost, so I wouldn't have been able to E-Speed him, but he shouldn't have been able to Oko my Ferrothorn from full, so I think I had that on lock, unless he was Z-Ghost Recover, which is actually pretty good. Well, actually, I haven't really used it that much, but I think it's good, but um, I personally haven't had much success with Porygon just because my team that I tried to use it with was pretty bad, but in general, Porygon's pretty scary in the sense that you really just can't let it get free setup in certain scenarios, so you just have to be careful around it. Anyway, my opponent's got a pretty good team. Uh, Tangier was kind of hard beat Psyguard, so <laughs> it's not going to be doing much. My own Heatran looks like a really, really big threat. I definitely want to get a, um, his Coco or his Tapu Fini in so my Ferrothorn can get up rocks. The fact that my Rocker's Ferrothorn is really great for his matchup versus Charizard. Hoopa is a big threat for sure. Um, I actually just want to lead with Rotom, just so I can try to get some momentum early on in the game. He does lead off with his Heatran, um... See, some people just stay in. I'll, I'll Hydro Pump, as he does just stay in, okay. So that's good, uh, I'm gonna Volt right here, most people would not stay in now, so... Keep Tex, okay. I'll Volt again. If you really, really, yeah, okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would have been a little annoyed, a little miffed if he stayed in. I mean, I guess that works out for him. I just, like, it's an unnecessary play, I think. But, um, he does go in straight into his Zard. Um, it should be Zardex, just by the looks of it. I want to try to Leech Seed him, as he does just DD. Um, I want to try to go into my Heatran. Hopefully, he's not going to EQ this turn. If he has it, okay, he does double DD into my Rotom. We'll see if he has EQ right here. As he does not have EQ, okay. Or he's a master bluff. If he EQs right here, I'm dead, so. <laughs> I mean, this is the best I can do with the team that's given to me versus Igor, uh, versus Charizard, but, um... Alright, this Tapu Fini should die. Bloom down! If I get off this Bloom Doom and it kills, that's gonna be splendid for me. Please kill, there we go! Nice and powerful! This is looking good now, this is looking good. He does go into his Hoopa, this thing is so fucking scary. Ugh, man. I'm honestly tempted to just go Zygarde just because... Uh, I feel like Zygarde just... 
a good backup with E speed. Even though he has a tang that just hard walls it. <laughs> it's just no fun. But um Oh no, I need my Ferrothorn for top of Coco. So yeah, I am gonna go Zygarde. I don't feel like I don't really have a choice right here. Um He does drain punch, so that's nice, I guess. That is nice. Um 53.8, that did nothing. Zygarde versus Hoopa. Make this the double mixed attacker. Drain punch. And let's just like make this like some random ass. I don't know what the exact stats are, but oh yeah, that's like a scarf hoopa or something like that. So I'll try to e-speed. He does just go to his tangrowth, so I mean I wasn't really getting anything better than that anyway. Um if he's EQ. That won't be good. So I'm gonna go into my Ferrothorn first. I could usually see him knock off, but the fact that I've already... Oh, he actually doubles to his Heatran. Um, protect Earth Power is not a thing. Please just tell me it's not a thing. Oh, please don't be Earth Power. Okay, okay, good. So... I mean, he can't really touch me, but I also don't want to give him a lot of turns to get leftovers recovery. But I do want to Magma Storm. Now, Earth Power, he'll like you protect. This turn, I'm going to Magma Storm. I feel like he realizes that his Heatran is important for my. I don't know, we'll see. As he does go to his Tangrowth, so if I hit this, it's dead. Oh, that's sweet. That's that's good. As he forfeits, all right, so that's solid. So we were able to go undefeated with this team. Thanks a lot to CBB again for the team. Unfortunately, Zygod, Zydog couldn't really do that much damage, but it's a pretty cool mod. Thousand Arrows, as you saw from that first game, is a really, really good move. Like, really, 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 really good. But, um... And that's going to be the live. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.